Thanks, Adrian. The state of Alabama's first Heisman Trophy winner has died. Yeah, former Auburn quarterback Pat Sullivan passed away in his sleep overnight. WBTM 13's Chip Scarbo talked to a longtime friend about the difference he made on and off the field. Pat Sullivan made an impact on fans and athletes across the state of Alabama, first playing quarterback at Auburn, then later accepting various coaching positions at Auburn, UAB, and Sanford. Pat, what a great athlete, great gentleman, great person. Um, just so very terribly sad that he's gone. Gene Hallman knew Pat Sullivan for more than 20 years. Sullivan became the state's first Heisman Trophy winner when he played quarterback for Auburn, despite losing to Alabama that season. Pat Sullivan, the player, it's hard to describe in words what he means to not only Auburn, but the state of Alabama and our sports history. Auburn never won a national championship while Sullivan played for the Tigers, but that certainly didn't hurt his career. He went on to play in the pros for several seasons before shifting his focus. And he started his passion, which is coaching later in life and had great success at TCU, Auburn, UAB and, and Sanford. Um, and he loved the, the impact that uh, he could make on young people and those relationships that he developed with those young people that he remained close to uh, his entire life. Hallman's favorite memory is helping coordinate the renaming of the football field at John Carroll High School in Birmingham in honor of Sullivan. Sullivan played football there in high school. I said, this must be a really proud moment for you. And he was wiping tears away and he said, yeah, I just wish mom and dad were here to see it. Pat Sullivan was diagnosed with mouth cancer in 2003, but kept making public appearances despite the rigorous treatment. He leaves behind a wife, three children and eight grandchildren. In Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WBTM 13.